Green Thumb Show Dash Radio. What the fuck is up? We got Derek Lou in the building. Yeah. What up, man? Word up. Glad to have you here, bro. Appreciate you. You know, coming from Cali, right? Yes, sir. Um, coming with a di- you know a whole different style because I mean uh, when you when you come from Cali they expect a certain a thing of the rappers down here you're either from Long Beach Compton or something like that you know but your flavor is different tell us about it a little bit man I mean I'm I'm a super 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 fan of everything Cali all the all the OG rappers you know what I'm saying everything like everything that Cali stands for like I I love that but it's something about like that. That like you know J Cole and like the whole you know what I'm saying yeah. like more like like that almost soulful there's something you know what I'm saying like right. I'm not saying that we don't have soul out here but like it's just different yeah it's a little bit different and I just I like implementing both parts you know what I'm saying yeah I take some of the California culture along with some of that you know what I'm saying the, what inspires me and the artists that inspire me today some of the East Coast balance yeah yeah exactly but that's cool because I mean you know that's what inspired you and if that's what you know that's what brings it out of you man that's a fucking good thing you i know appreciate I mean? that i think you need to keep on that line you know what i'm saying absolutely because i mean you're doing a lot of things you got a lot of followers right now just fucking with you right now yes, sir. how does that feel it's it's a blessing it's because a, it's you're on an independent grind right yes sir yes sir we have you know what i'm saying do that's, it all in-house keep it all in-house that shit you built. Make, yeah it's it's built from the ground up all organic and independent every fan that we get we we cherish and love them and you know what I'm saying? Appreciate them from from the bottom of my heart, man. Like as corny as that sounds, like it just, it's just true. Awesome. When you're independent, it just they, it's hard to hard to grab them fans. What do you think? <clears throat> what do you think the key was that 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 you once you once you got them? What do you think that was? I think like which song or which video or or what do you think it was? I, I think honestly, my I can't lie. I mean, I, as an artist, you know, like. The, your older stuff, you're like, oh, I've done way better. You know what I'm saying? I can do way better. So, the improvement, I think the progress is really what, what got showed, him. yeah, what got them. And then being, I guess, consistent in the fact of me not, like, I want you to really soak up a project. I'm not just going to drop heavy music. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really yeah. want you to sit on a project and hear took, it. You took your time with whatever yeah. you did. So, the second coming, I would say, oh, yeah, back to your question, my bad. The second coming, which was my second mixtape, I think that really put me on the map for people to like yeah okay he knows kind of what he's doing he can put together a project now he really can you know what i'm saying yeah they, i think they like what you were saying was they saw your progression as an artist like growing and then you know getting it down and by the time you hit the second one boom that yeah, was it exactly you just, just leaked the track though for your upcoming project right yeah i mean i'm it's kind of yeah that lord willing track yeah that's the one you a couple of days ago yeah it, it's kind of like a leak from like a project it was really just that we we recorded it that night and I'm like, we didn't even have an engineer. We had my producer who's never engineered a session before coming in. We just mixed it and just sat there for like 24 hours just listening, EQing it, do, like doing it ourselves and just kind of just drop the, drop the song. It might get remixed and go on the project. You never know. That shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Now, now like you were doing shows with Skate Maloney, right? Uh-huh. How, how, how did that go? It, it was amazing. That that skater tour was insane. It it was like the the fans came and showed out. Um, the being on the road, obviously, you know what I'm saying. It, it's it's long and it's yeah. you know what I'm saying tiring. But at that last show, having it be in L.A. was such yeah. a good feeling. Selling out the Roxy, independent. You know what I'm saying. Five hundred heads just screaming for you. It's just it's a beautiful thing. Love, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, shout out to shout out to L. A. How did it feel doing the songs live? You know what I mean? Because I mean, from from one from one end when you when you perform it in the studio, that's one feeling. Because mm-hmm. when you hear it back and everybody's feeling that shit, you're like, oh hell yeah, yeah. we got something. But when you actually play it and it gives that reaction, then you're like, oh shit. Yeah, it's you know? it's overwhelming. It's a whole nother like seeing him because you know you you see the tweets or the interaction but like right. actually seeing someone bump your shit and nod their head to it and go crazy to it and then you come out and then it gives them even more like it's 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 sick it's it's dope oh, yeah it's over what it's like sometimes you just like are like in you know sucked into the moment you're so in the moment and then you kind of snap out of and you're like holy shit this is real right now like oh what the fuck real shit, <laughs> real shit. and and you got a lot of chicks to go crazy over <laughs> over you. I mean, it's prevalent here in the chat room, the chat room amongst amongst other places. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, is that extra added pressure for you, or is that like, yeah, all right, I mean, I got this. I mean, you know, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, you know how. I mean, he's just, he's just rolling. Yeah, you just do your thing, you know. Word up. Yeah. But I mean, that, because here, here's why I say that. Because I mean, you're you're doing shit that's it's like from from this video right here and from your other shit. Like you're doing like real shit, but it's like chicks fuck with it too. Yeah, you know, it's it's not necessarily just geared towards chicks. Yeah, but you're getting them. But they're great. Yeah, they, yeah. The, 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 yeah, the female fans are enjoying. I think, I think they enjoy hip hop and bars and you know what I'm saying, like dope rap, just as much as they enjoy you know the yeah. top twenty songs. It's you know, about, yeah, it's just about connecting with it. Yeah, you just got you got to figure out what what this you know the generation like where who your fans are and who you're trying to reach you know what i'm saying like don't don't be something you're not and then don't do something that the fans aren't used to you know yeah you can always try new things but still give them that little i think this is just for you know what i'm saying like just that little bit of like what they originally liked you for you know yeah. what i'm saying like still give them what we fuck with you for fell in love with you for but you can always experiment I mean, exactly you got to i think every time you do something different you got to experiment you can't just do the same thing now you you said that in that last video your sister was in that with you. Yeah. So you you work a lot with your family with lot, your peeps that you came I, up with, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's it's I think it's so important to keep start at the roots. And like that's that's the best way to have a full growing healthy working tree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you start at the roots and you know what I'm saying, you keep watering that and grow like a strong base and foundation from the people that yeah. That really love you and care about you. You know, it'll tell you the truth on your shit. Exactly, the people that will keep it real, not just a bunch of yes men. Like, you know, you have those people hanging around, and that's where you wonder where all your money's going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. You got. I think you got to have those kind of people around you to like ground you out and like tell you, hey, listen, I don't know about that joint, or I don't know about that look, or that video, or this or that. Mm -hmm. But you know, and that's why it's good to have family and around like that came up with like that word up so what's 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 next popping for you right? man because i mean you got a lot of shit going on yeah we, we we getting busy um the next thing i'm uh like focused on mainly is my next project i i, know I have an idea a concept we have tracks we have all sorts of you know what i'm saying all sorts of ideas but i really just want to get into the lab and sit down get some time and and get that next project really you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. perfect it because that's, that's what I'm all about is that perfection. And, and sometimes it drives me crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being but a that's being an artist. You know? e exactly. That's yeah. the beauty of it. So you got like a, a concept for it or, or an idea of like the producers you want to fuck with for it? Well, I, I mean, the, my main producer who I do damn near every joint with is JQ's. He right over there. What up, Q's? What's happening? What's good? Um, yeah, he does, he does all my joints. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that's that's great that you got one producer as opposed to using like you know fifteen to twenty like a lot of people do you know because I think you get continuity that way you get a sound and people fuck with that very much exactly. that way when one of your joints comes on they know oh psh, this is loose shit you know what I'm saying yeah and uh, I I psh, commend you for that because not enough motherfuckers do that hey 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 don't tell them the secrets man. <laughs> Word. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell Shut nobody. <laughs> Who would uh, you say is your top five that are alive? Top like five that are your alive. Inspiration to writing and performing everything too. Ooh, inspiration for writing and performing. In no particular order. Nah. You go nah, J. Cole, Kanye, Kendrick, Drake, and Jay. Those are all the bad right. motherfuckers. Yeah. Right there too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he did not name one weak motherfucker yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, but you know, all of them, are, you know, they're all putting it down still, you know, like hard. I mean, all of them right now. Active. He's active. Just mm -hmm. Jay just got off of that tour with Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Killed it. Killing you know what I'm it. Saying? Mm -hmm. So it's safe to say you would you would uh, collab with any one of them at any given time. A heartbeat, time. huh? Any, oh yeah, absolutely. That's well, not even a, that. That's not even a question. What would be a collab that would surprise your fans that you know they might not know you would fuck with? Um, hmm, that's a tough one, man. If uh, if they were still working, I would want to do a collab with Reggie Against the Machine. Hey, <laughs> if they were still popping, I would want to do a collab with them. 
If y'all know, if y'all, if y'all, if y'all know this guy, this machine I like is. this guy right here, man. <laughs> That's my shit. That's a beautiful and answer, man. See, and I, I tell you, I bet you, I bet you, you just blew their fucking mind. Some of your fans that are watching right here, they're like, what the they're like, huh? Rage. They're like, what the fuck? What is that? What is that? What's that? Is that a movie? Who, who are oh, those guys? See, but you know what it is, and now yeah. that they've heard it. From you, they're gonna go you look and out, see man. what the fuck that is hey, and be like, homies, "Oh shit, man. I can hear that." Yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying? Got a bullet in your head. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, hit him with and that. And they say, "How high your brain dead? You got a fucking bullet in your head." Mm-hmm. Are you hearing this, Chad? <laughs> Are you hearing this over shit. here? He's got a Rage Against the Machine shirt on over there. <laughs> okay. that shit. Oh damn! I did not even see that. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, man. Oh. Damn. Hey, but see, that's. That's what I'm saying. Is it like you just never know? You mm. just never know, and you never know what might manifest. Just put it out there, man. Very out true. of this conversation. Very true. Word up, man. Where could they fuck with you? I mean, you know, I know all your fans do, but you know, the, the ones that might not know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go follow me on Twitter at Derek Lou D E R E K L U H, um, and then is on Instagram Derek underscore Lou. And then, you know, if you want to, go subscribe to my YouTube. Check the videos out. Do your thing. Appreciate y'all. Word up, man. Uh, you, got, you got any shows coming up? Um, Not as of right now. We, we don't have anything coming up. You guys are just I like, mean, working strictly, on the album. Yeah, strictly working on, on the music, but we are planning for fall a, a, a bigger tour with, I don't want to say nothing yet, but yeah. with a couple of uh, underground independent artists as well. So it's like supposed to be something big for the, for the fall. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited for it. All, you know, all these girls are just waiting. They're just right there in this <laughs> chat room. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, huh. psh, off the top. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're going to have doing. a good time, man. I yeah. just got to tell you like that, man. Hey, hey I believe we got, uh, we got some of your joints right here. What do we got, Sheik? We got uh, Lifestyle, Hustle Back, Blow It Out, or Smoke One. Oh. Which one you want on? Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Word up. There you go. Lifestyle. Dr. Green Thumb Show. Be Real TV Dash Radio. Derek Lou was good. Yeah. <laughs> was good with it. Appreciate y'all, man.